This video will provide an overview of some of the key things that you need to do in preparation as you seek to become accredited at Proficient. The first thing you need to do is become familiar with the Australian Professional Standards for Teachers and the actual standards can be found on the BOSTEST website. You may need to start using the standards to help you to seek out ways of developing your practice. You may also need to speak to your KLA coordinator or your supervisor about becoming involved in writing assessment tasks and programs, for example, because these can be key pieces of evidence in your accreditation uh, evidence. You also need to become familiar with the BOSTEST website. The BOSTEST website contains all of the information you need about teacher accreditation, all the rules, all the requirements, they're all there on the BOSTEST website, so you must become familiar with that. You also need to become familiar with the CEDP OSCAR website. On this page you will find a lot of resources and checklists. It's important you become familiar with these documents because CEDP is the Teacher Accreditation Authority, which means they basically assess your, your evidence and decide whether it meets the standard. So it's important you're following their guidelines. You also need to become familiar with the Cert on College staff website, which has a Teacher Accreditation tab. On this page, you will find many of the resources that you require to meet accreditation, and they're actually mapped out fairly sequentially. So you may find this an easy place to go to to find out what you need to do. So please check that out as well. It's important that you know a little bit about the standards and how they're arranged within the document. The standards are divided into different sections. You can see that they are divided into domains of teaching and these are the three areas that BOSTEST believes are critical to teacher quality and performance. The first is professional knowledge, second is professional practice and the third is professional engagement. You can see that the standards are actually aligned with each of these domains. You can see that professional knowledge includes standard one and two. Standard one, know your students and how they learn and standard two, know the content and how to teach it. This is all about your professional knowledge. And then you've got the second domain, professional practice, which includes standards three, four, and five. Standard three, plan for and implement effective teaching and learning. Standard four, create and maintain supportive and safe learning environments. And standard five, assess, provide feedback and report on student learning. So this is all about your practice. And you can see the third domain is professional engagement and standard six and seven relate to that. This is all about your engagement in professional learning for standard six and your engagement professionally with colleagues, parents, carers and the community for standard seven. It's also important from here to know that each of the standards has its own focus area and a range of standard descriptors. To understand a little bit further what is meant by a standard descriptor. It's important to understand that the standard itself, in this case standard one, know students and how they learn, has a number of standard descriptors underneath it, or statements. Each standard descriptor has a focus. In this case, we're looking at standard descriptor 1.1. The focus is physical, social, and intellectual development and characteristics of students, and you can see that they apply at different levels graduate, proficient, highly accomplished and lead. Now you're concerned with the descriptors that end in a number two. So in this case 1.1.2 is the proficient standard descriptor for the focus physical, social and intellectual development and characteristics of students. It's important at this point that you understand the difference between standards and standard descriptors. The standard is the broad overall statement Underneath the broad overall statement, for example, standard one, there are a number of standard descriptors. Thank you very much for listening and please tune in to the videos that follow that provide step-by-step -step guide to accreditation at Proficient.